Sam Dijkmaar. Sandy Klaik is there mentioning, of course, the two-year wait due to COVID to make this happen. So, Utrecht more than ready for this. And the third Grand Tour too. I have to continue in English because the world is watching us today. To all of you present here today, bienvenido a Utrecht. Just one more night of sleep and La Vuelta will start. And the time has come, finally. And after two extra years of waiting, it was about time, I have to say. And actually, we have been waiting much longer for La Vuelta. Uh, let me go back with you all in time for a moment, because seven years ago, it was the sweltering summer of 2015, the Tour de France riders whisked under the Dom Tower. Unforgettable images. And you may also remember how hot it was at that time, too. Under that hot sum, a number of people were already quietly daydreaming. They thought, hmm, we've already had the Giro, which was a great success. Now the tour caravan is passing through the Netherlands. Also fantastic. And what if we could organize the Vuelta in the Netherlands as well? You can imagine that the people here in Utrecht were immediately enthusiastic. The first city in the world to welcome, it already has been mentioned just right now, the three major cycling tours. And since that last week, talk about good timing, I have to say, Utrecht was named the most bikes friendly city in the world. Yes, we're proud. Right? We're really proud. I'm a proud mayor. And I wish to stress that it is not just the story of a city that this year, in 2022, is also celebrating the fact that we already have 900 years ago um, the first received city rights. So, yes, this is, ladies and gentlemen, dear people, it is really perfect timing. Celebrating a party, that is something you do not do on your own. And the top international event is something that you organize together. And there is one thing that we're good at in a small country, and that is getting big things done. And we have done it again. Breda, Sertogebos, Utrecht, the provinces of North Brabant and Utrecht, the 31 municipalities where the riders pass through, the Ministry of Health, Welfare and Sport, all participating companies and social partners involved joint forces to make La Vuelta Hollanda possible. At times, La Vuelta Hollanda became a monster challenge that could be maybe compared to a Pyrenees stage. But we did it. And how? Because in addition to world-class riders, we can also witness a world first today. Because La Vuelta Hollanda is the only major cycling organization that has an advertising caravan that is 100% green. Yes. So, if, apart from cycling, you also love nature and want to take care of this planet, you have come definitely to the right place. I would like to thank all the partners for making this top event possible. Here, alongside a proud mayor of Utrecht, stands a very happy and grateful supervising mayor. So if you don't mind, I have to continue with giving words of thanks and compliments. On behalf of all the participating partners in the Vuelta Hollanda, I would like to thank, from the bottom of my heart, and I hope of yours too, the organization of La Vuelta, which of course I 
should do in Spanish. And yes, I admit it, I'm a little bit nervous about it because I don't speak Spanish. So, let's go. Muchas gracias por vuestra paciencia y confianza. So, dear cycling fans, not only here at Vredenburgplein, but to all of you watching in the world right now, from Vamos a la Playa, we now go to Vamos a la Vuelta. And how wonderful it is to see this full house here in Utrecht today. I hope that you are all really excited. The next few days, I don't doubt it, it will not be different in Breda, in Sertogenbosch, in the municipalities where the Vuelta will pass through, both along the route and in all the activities that are organized. Will La Vuelta Hollanda be a fiesta? Most definitely, yes it will. But this cycling fiesta is not only complete with its key players, the riders. So I'm not going to speak any longer now. You have waited long enough. High time, therefore, to introduce all the participating teams to you, all the riders, and give them Let's hear it for them. A thunderous applause. Thank you. Four Thank days you so of working in the Love World Cup, of course, Sam the Dagba. team launch, the team time trial tomorrow, yeah. and two flat, yes. fast Sam road Dagba stages. Said it. It's time to introduce all the riders. All the teams have gathered here in Hofkaterijne and are ready to make the presentation here on this stage. So. In the next three days, the riders will go through Dutch territory, starting from tomorrow with a team time trial here through the center of Utrecht. The next day um, will uh, be the moment where the mountain points can be gathered at the Dutch mountain, the Ameromse Berg, which is a yeah, which is a whopping 69 meters high. <laughs> Who do you think will get the polka dot jerseys? Which is which is so funny Ooh, because question. it's the outgo of the Ameromse, and there are riders already coming up. Would be great if, for instance, yet the bold Dutch rider with a Spanish team coming up, right? Right, yeah. right. We got already some riders coming up. Hey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's the first team. Let's give it up for Equipo Can yes. Pharma. The Spanish pro team, the boys in green. Nice to see them all masked up. I suspect that's going to be a familiar sight today. And the riders for Equipo Can Pharma in the green: Roger Adria, Doco Berade, Hector Caratero, Francisco Galvan, Raúl. Piana, Po Miguel, and Jose Felix Parra. Raul Miguel Delgado, also from Spain. And give it up for Spanish time trial champion Raul Garcia Pierna. And let me hear you for Francisco Galvan Fernandez, Hector Caratero, Urco Berade Fernandez. And give it up for the winner of the Route Occitanie, Roger Adria. Team Ken Farmer, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Roger Adria Roger would be a good one to watch out for on the, uh, the rolling in. hills, particularly in the Basque Country, perhaps. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and then it's time for our next team. Keep up those hands, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to introduce Team Intermarché Vanti. Oh, team of the year, perhaps. The Belgian team really going places and fulfilling their billing as and a world fair, team, and of course. Put your hands up and clap for these great, great, great athletes. Very much sprint focused this team with Gerben Thiessens, the Belgian rider. Of course, mentioning Binyam Germay's brilliant spring. But despite it being their debut, they immediately made a good impression with Ot Christian Eiking wearing the red jersey for seven days straight. With cyclists as Jan Baklans, but also Domenico Pozzovivo and Louis Mainz just finishing the top 10 in the Giro and Tour of this year already. This team definitely has got a shot at giving a good follow-up during La Vuelta 2022. Jan Baklans back winning much. this year Richard, too. Let me introduce you to the riders of uh, Intermarché Wanti. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, he was born in Utrecht. A round of applause for Boy from Popo! Both he and his brother Danny racing in this World Cup. Winning a stage in Poland, Gerben Dijssen. 
And Gervin Thijssen Are you ready, Ward, really uh, going places as a sprinter. Rentalame. A top 10 rider from the Giro d'Italia this year, Domenico Pozzo Vivo. From Republic of South Africa, top 10 in the Tour de France this year, Louis Manches. From Denmark, already winning Olympia Stu, which is in the Netherlands. Please welcome Julius Johansson. A lot expected of this young man. And he man. was a Giro stage winner this year from the Czech Republic, Jan Hirt. And last but definitely not least, winning a Tour de France stage already. He is the golden oldie, but he is one of the greatest. This is Jan Bakelons. The age of 36, as I said, back it's winning again this year, Jan Bakelons. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, then we go on with the introduction of team number three, Ager de Citroën. The French team, the boys in white, are led by Clément Champoussin, who uh, was 16 in the last edition, of course. They are one of the three French Very teams exciting climber. In, this year's La in 2019, the team won a jersey in the Vuelta for the first time. Geoffrey Bouchard took the mountain jersey this year again. This team starts off strong with general classification cyclist Ben O'Connor being their eye catcher. I should have said Citroën. Big question remaining to see how well can they do in the team time trial. From Italy. Then Antoine Rogel from France. Nicolas Prodom from France as well. Nance Peters from France. And give it up for former winner of Lag Bastenakeluik, Bob Jungels. Back on form this year, Jungels. Finland, Jaco Henninen. Former Vuelta stage winner, Clément Champoussin from France. And last but not least, give it up for Ben O'Connor from Australia. The Aussie, so popular. A lot of work to do in that team time trial to protect the likes of him. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, guys. Good luck. They are going to need a big ride in that team yes, time trial. I'm sure they will. I should stop mentioning it. Put your hand up like this and wave. Time taken in that team time trial, by the way. On the fourth finisher across the line, let me remind you. We'll be coming back to that tomorrow as we ramp it up for the next team. And talking of team time trials, this is the team that won the last team time trial. In the Vuelta, Astana. This will be a special Vuelta since it was one of his last races as professional cyclist. The Shark of Messina is one of seven cyclists who have won the Giro, the Tour and the Vuelta. An exceptional achievement. We really need a wrap right now, don't we? Wouldn't be too much to ask, surely. Vincenzo Nibali, there he is. To, uh, the guys of Astana, ladies and gentlemen, from Colombia, great climber, Harold Tejada. From Kazakhstan, Vadim Bronski. And this is the one, ladies and gentlemen, let us hear it. For the winner of the Giro, the Tour de France and the Vuelta, Vincenzo Nibali. What a start. And he's a former Vuelta and the uh, Tour de France stage winner, Alexei Lutsenko. What is Lutsenko capable of in the coming three weeks? That will be fascinating. Three times top ten in La Vuelta GC, David de la Cruz. And he's a former Espoir world champion, Samuel Battistella. And last but not least, maybe their captain, big eyes on him. Please welcome Miguel Angel Superman Lopez. Just going Anything over just to is possible this is your with him. Ladies and gentlemen, we just do it in Italian and in English a little bit because this is a special moment, right? Vincenzo, per te è un momento speciale, no? È, è l'ultima presentazione della squadra in un Grand Tour. Come ci si sente? Uh, yes. How do you feel about your last presentation of a Grand Tour? Yes, uh, it's the, my last time in the Grand Tour, is, uh, especially for me in the, in the Vuelta, because uh, in 2010 I win at the Vuelta, it's my best, uh, the first Tour. Uh, for me it's incredible uh, to start again in the Vuelta with more people, and uh, it's a very, very 
emotional. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. He will have cards to play. He will want Great to go honor, out Andrew, and be seen. seen. Can we just pass the microphone to Miguel Angel just for a moment? Superman Lopez. Very motivated with the big team, and we are looking very much forward to the presentation of Team Astana with Superman Lopez, with Vincenzo Nibola, and this great team. Thank you so much. Astana, Kazakhstan! Well, they're going to have their work cut out, but I'll remind you, they were the winners of the team time trial in the Welter yeah, last time it stage. had one. We're going Miguel Angel Lopez, of the next team from the southern part. winner of three stages, of course. And next up, the Belgian team, Lotto Sudal. The team with the longest standing sponsor in the world, True Peloton, oh, no. will be competing for the 20th time this year around. The team is on its way to reach their peak yet in 2022, and this well could definitely be the right podium for that. A team of proper stage hunters too here. Last stage win in 2020 in Dallas. Here they are, Team Lotto Look out for young Maxim Van Hils, the 22-year-old. A lot of people talking here up in the hills. And there he is. And from Australia, Harrison Sweeney. Poland brings us Camille Malecki. From Australia, Jared Drisners. From Belgium, Steph Cross. From Italy, Filippo Conca. From Belgium again, Sendik Beulens. And please give it up for former stage winner of all the three Grand Tours, Thomas de Gent. Everyone loves it again. Yeah. He will also, no Thank doubt, you. leave his mark on this welter. And there they are, Lotto Sudal. The Belgian team. They're going to leave the stage, ladies and gentlemen. We are on we for expect a very, to see very them. great team from America. We have American music for this American team. Here is Team Trek Sega Frey. We expect to see Lotto Sudal, not necessarily general classification focused, but big time in the stage hunting stakes. <laughs> I'm loving the theme music. Trek Segafredo, multinational in their makeup, will be enjoying this. Impressive performance by Juan Pedro Lopez in the Giro. After that, the young Spanish cyclist rode 10 days in the Malia Rosa. During the tour, it was Mats Pedersen who held the credits for Trek Segafredo. 2019 world champion and 2020 winner of Kent Bevergem will make his debut in this tour of Spain. It's yes, quite remarkable that uh, Madge Pedersen is debuting here at the age of 26. A couple of stage winners in there too in Dario Cataldo and Kenny Ellisong, their punchy little climber. No obvious general yes, classification yes, yes. focus, but some big hitters for sure. Hungary from Italy, Antonio Tiberi. To the front stage winner this year and the former world champion, give it up for Mats Pedersen! And he wore the pink jersey in the Giro d'Italia. Boy, he was so good. What can we expect from him this year? Juan Pedro Lopez! Still only 25 years of age as well, Lopez. We love those colors. Alex Kirsch! First timer from the Netherlands. Last year, Hoge Dames and Heren, Dan Holen! They're going to love all the Dutch riders, no doubt about that. And what about that great climber who's already a former stage winner in La Vuelta, Kenny Elisande. From Italy, Dario Cataldo. And last but definitely not least from France, Julien Bernard, Trek Segafredo. I'm pretty sure Cataldo's a stage winner too. Thank you guys. Trek Segafredo. Thank you so much, guys. And now we're going to introduce, and we practiced it before, ladies and gentlemen. They need a little, bit, little bit of extra support because here they are, the team normally fully in red, now in yellow. Team Arkea Samsung! We have at least four or five Take expected your, sprint stages, by the way. Great opportunities for Mads Pedersen in good company. Now, Arkea Samsung 
are up next. It has to be said, not without controversy, they are missing Nairo Quintana. I won't go into uh, too much detail, but you can look it up yourself. It's the story that's broken over the last day. They've decided not to come with Nairo Man. Yes, there they are. Starting with Clement Russo from France. From Poland, Lucas Ocean. From Great Britain, Daniel McClay. From France, Simon Guglielmi. From France as well, Thibaut Gornalek. And Eli Gébert, also from France. And Anthony Delaplace from France. Lots of stage hunting potential in there. Perfectly yellow. Please give it up for Arkea Samsi. A change of kit and uh, one name omitted, of course, guys, the former winner, shows. Naira Quintana from 2016. Yes, Rather so than me make a hash of explaining it, if you don't know why, Arkea go and look it up. The it's now very much a live music. story, that one. So she is originally from Mexico, but she is living in Amsterdam for a while now, so she's a little Dutch as well. Yep. She will later perform the um, official Vuelta song, but before that she will perform a new song. Utrecht, are you ready for a little party? Okay, well let's give it up for Lorena Medina with Bendito! Otro que se reemplaza Que te vaya bien, que te vaya bonito Amor como el tuyo, ya no necesito Un beso y tan malo Ay, bendito Te paso, te borro y me quito Que te vaya bien, que te vaya bonito Amor como el tuyo, ya no necesito Un beso y tan malo Ay, bendito Te paso, te borro y me quito Sin preocupación de la situación Ahora te toca aguantarte la presión Eras el protagonista First of two musical performances, the song La Vuelta, coming up at the end of our presentations. I am having an amazing time. I am having such an amazing time. Thank you so much, Lorena Medina. Worth pointing out, as I mentioned, with the absence of Naira Quintana, we're losing the opportunity to have six former we champions at the start. We, we will have, have five, party, though. And she will be back with her band later tomorrow, uh, tonight with the anthem of La Vuelta. Yes, yes, she will. So uh, seven teams already been to stage. We're up to the next teams coming up. Rutger. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're now ready for the eighth team. Let's give it up for Burgos Bearsh. 
Burgos Biache, the Spanish team. The boys in purple, my favourite kit. One of the wildcard teams I expect to see. Unfortunately, that Angel Madrazo is not here. That was a very, very late change. And there you have it confirmed. Great shame for them. Madrazo not being here. Been in good form too. I don't know why. Former stage winner, of course. Please welcome from Spain, Manuel Peñalver. And he's a former triathlete, but he's a great cyclist. Uh, meanwhile, under Okamika. Nothing wrong with being a former triathlete. What about we don't have to apologize. Stage winner, please welcome Danny Navarro. And he's not here yet, but he will come tomorrow. Victor Langalotti. There we go. That is who is replacing Madrazo then. From Spain, Jesus Esguera. Jose Manuel Diaz. Oscar Gabedo. And ladies and gentlemen, he will be up there when we go to the Alto de Amorongsa. I'm sure on Saturday or not. He's smiling already. Yes, the ball! Very popular Dutchman on the all Spanish team, other than him. Expect so to much. see the boys in purple in multiple breakaways. Well, success, yes, sir. That you can guarantee. We go on with Burgos the next team. We're going to a French team who is a regular at La Vuelta. Let's give it up for Kofidis. The French team Kofidis bring Brion Cocard, the French sprinter, for his debut at the Vuelta. Can't believe it. Awesome. This year Kofidis will bring four Spaniards to the start, including the brothers Jose and Jesus Herrera, who won a stage, Vuelta stage in 2019. They're already here on the stage. Once more, Team Confini! Herrada and Fernandez, both very good options in the hilly stages. Please welcome the riders of Team Confini from Italy, Davide Villera. From France, Rimi Rochas. From Spain, one of the brothers, Jose Herrada. A former winner of the Tour de l'Avenir, Ruben Fernandez. From France, Thomas Champion. Two-time zero stage winner, Davide Chimulai. Winner of the Bessage, winner of Dunkirk as well, Brian Kokar. And last but not least, former winner of a stage in La Vuelta and in the Tour of Luxembourg, Jesus Herrada. Both Herrada brothers in the same team. Let's see what Brian Kokar can manage in those expected well, four or five so sprint stages. We're going to introduce the next ones because they're already coming over here. Introduction of Bike Exchange Jago. Herada, by the way, in Kofidis in great form this year. Look out for him in any of the rolling stages, particularly with an uphill finish. Here's is Herada, always a good option. Next up, the Australian team of Bike Exchange Jaco. Will they be able to do this again this year? With Yates as the leader of the pack once again, the team has a potential winner in the final classification. What a great team for tomorrow's team time trial yeah, too. They are here on stage. There they are, let's introduce them properly. Callum Scottson from Australia. Callum O'Brien, also from Australia. Give it up for Michael Hepburn from Australia. Lucas Hamilton, Australia as well. Caden Groves, Australia, sprinter. Give it up for Luke Durbridge. And don't forget for Lawson Craddock. The American. <laughs> and please, In give the it Aussie up team. For former Vuelta winner, Simon Yates. 2018 winner. Two stages to his name, too, of course. And they'll Thank be looking to protect him in that team time trial. What an engine Lawson room Craddock. they have for it, too. <laughs> Craddock, the American, awesome. enjoying himself. That's nice to see. We have to go on. We can party with them all night, of course. But ladies and gentlemen, there's a team from the southern part of the Netherlands with their sponsor. Let's give it up for Team DSM. Put out one hand like this. Put out one hand like this. One hand like this. Are we going to wait for Utrecht? Here we go. Come on. Team DSM bring with them a very interesting option. 
in Tam and Aronsman, the Dutchman. I think they'll enjoy him on here too. The Dutch team and we have in black. Really, really Dutch pearl in Team DSM, don't we? Exactly, Team DSM on stage right now from Belgium. Henry van der Nabele. And he's good in the cycle course and on the road. So, Blab Welta, Joris Nieuwenhuis. From Norway, Jonas Iversby Heemdebel. From Great Britain, Mark Donovan. Former winner of Paris Roubaix and Milan Saremo, John Delgenkoff. Ten times of Welta stage winner, too. Germany's Marco Brenner. From Germany as well, Nikias Arendt. And last but last least, ladies and gentlemen, second in Poland, two times second in the Giro d'Italia stages. He is here, maybe Dutch next best thing in Grand Tours. Give it up for Damon Eiersman! Hey, don't ramp up the pressure too much, will you? He's still only 22. I'm going by today's standards. He should have won a Grand Tour by now. <laughs> Damon Eiersman hopefully will be allowed to relax into this world that the Dutchman great expectations from stage one onwards All right, ladies and gentlemen, good luck. should have a great good team luck. for the team time trial thankfully too and he is a great Welcome. time great trialist himself great French music. Groupama, FDG. the French team and can we see all the hands in the square up in the air ladies and gentlemen it's on the square in the air and wave like this here they come um, those of you who are on Pino watch, ready yourselves, because Thibaut Pino starts this week. His previous best, of course, he's been sixth and seventh in the Welter. With 11 stage victories, the French team has managed to leave the mark on the Spanish race. With cyclists such as Thibaut Pino participating this year, it could certainly become a success for the Welter for this team. Keep it up, keep those hands in the air for nobody less than Sunubama FDG. This will be fascinating. How can Jake Stewart, the young uh, Brit, go in the sprints too? He's recently got his first pro win. There's Thibaut yes, Pino. There they are on the stage. First, give it up for Jake Stewart from Great Britain. Miles Scotton from Australia. Sebastian Reichenbach from Switzerland. Quentin Passier from France. Rudy Mollard, also from France. Fabian Linhardt from Switzerland. Bruno Amirai from France. And please give it up for former Tour de France stage winner and Vuelta stage winner, Thibaut Pinot. Can't help but think there's less pressure on him in this race. Seems to race Thank in a much more relaxed up. way. Welcome Sixth and seventh on GC. For Thibaut Pino, I'm sure many of you would join me in just hoping he has a trouble-free three weeks. Hoping to see the smiling Thibaut Pino rather than any other sort. Alpacin de Koenig next, the Belgian team. The team that continues to prove on a weekly basis it's so much more than just the Matthew van der Poel show. And they bring with them... Of course, Tim Malia. The Belgian team, Alpha Sina Koenig, made his debut in La Vuelta last year and immediately showed that they belong there. The team rewarded his debut with two stage wins by Jasper Philipsen. This year, keep an eye on Tim Merlier and also Jay Vine. Malia making his Jay debut Vine too. Champion on and offline, please welcome from Australia, Jay Vine. And from Belgium, Johnny Vermeer. Your hands up for Olinio Caminio. From Australia, winner of the Tour de Wallonie, Robert Stannard. Very impressive winner at Wallonie as well. That's welcome from Belgium, Sandro Merese. Jimmy Janssen. Flores de Tier. And ladies and gentlemen, he won a stage in the Tour de France. He won a stage in the Giro d'Italia. He's on the lookout for his stage win in the sprint. In this year's Vuelta, twice the Belgian champion, give it up for Mr. Tim Malier. Oscar Riesevik being pulled from the team at late notice. So, uh, looking like he's not been replaced. Good luck. These teams have up to eight riders. There are only seven there, unless I've miscounted. Go, ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you please put up your cloppers with the blue side up, ladies and gentlemen, because the team in blue is coming. Introduction of Quick Step Alpha Vinyl. 
The return of Julian Alaphilippe, there he is, the world champion after a troubled year, really. Also, top sprinter Fabio Jacobs and Mark Cavendish. They are not participating, but it's still a very, very strong team. What can Remco Ednepol achieve in the next three weeks? So much pressure on him. It wouldn't have helped his amazing performance at San Sebastian, of course. Starting with, from Belgium, Louis Verpake. From Belgium as well, Elon van Wilder. Also from Belgium, Peter Seri. From Italy, Fausto Masnada. And then the man on fire who won Luik van Stenakeluik and also San Sebastian. Give it up for Red Bull Evenepoel. Feels like Remco Evenepoel Mark II of a number of different editions. He's yeah, let's lighter, let's do. leaner, also, three, climbing well three, too. Three, from Belgium. Give it up for Remy Cavagna from France. And then... The powerhouse and road world champion of this team, Julian Alaphilippe. Terrible crashes, COVID, it's not been his yep. year. Yep. But he has such a wonderful way of turning it around. So, Let's uh, see. Uh, Julian Alaphilippe, first of all, we are very happy that you're here with us uh, on Bon Santé, uh, uh, obviously. What are your goals for this welter? First of all, going maybe for stage wins or helping your fellow teammate over there in a good GC, Remco uh, Evenepoel. First of all, Thank you for the really warm welcome. Yeah. Of course, I'm uh, super happy to be here uh, in Netherlands for the start of La Vuelta. And uh, we will do our best to try to win the stage. And uh, of course, with uh, ambition for the general classification with Remco. <laughs> but uh, first, we will enjoy and uh, we will give everything every day because we are super happy and uh, motivated for this world. Super great. Thank you very much. Julian Alaphilippe, I notice Alaphilippe is not taking his, go his uh, mask off. Yes. Sensible, rather. Uh, a lot of people n call your name as top favorite for winning this world. Huh? What is your take on that? Oh, it's, uh, it's a big honor for me to, to be seen as uh, one of the favorites, for sure. Um, but I think everybody has to know no GC result without a strong team. So... Uh, I think these guys need uh, as much support as everybody gives me. Um, and then uh, I promise to everybody that we will give our maximum to uh, do the best as possible. Okay, let's give them as much support as possible. It's Evan Nepal's debut in the Vuelta, of course, Good and luck. he is still so Good new luck, Good to luck. Grand Tour Team. racing. Let's hope he he's, uh, has a pressure-free environment in which to continue to develop. The teams are being sent off in boats without any bikes either. Um, I'm sure the here, risk right? assessment's yeah, been yeah, done. Uh, we're, we're very proud of him as well. He's, he's almost Dutch, right? Okay. So, no, no, no. Okay. Oh. So, um, uh, speaking of Dutch champions, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce you to a very special Dutch champion, a former champion. He was a world champion already. He won the Tour de France in 1968 already. And he won La Vuelta in 1967. Please, give it up for the one and only... Laat je horen Utrecht voor Jan Jansen. Meneer Jansen, welkom. Ik geef u de microfoon. So, I will ask the questions in English, then translate it in Dutch. You can answer in Dutch, and I will translate it again in English. Great. Right? So, First of all, Meneer Jansen, I'm curious, you're standing here in between the riders. What kind of feeling does that give you? What for gevoel heeft u als u hier zo tussen de renners staat en weer dat wielergevoel als u er midden tussen staat? Um, het contact met de renners is natuurlijk helemaal weg. Ja. Ik, ken, ik ken niemand meer. Ik zie de, nee, maar, ik zie de wereldkampioen uh, Alaphilippe en dan nog één of twee. Maar wat, ik, wat mij opvalt is dat... Zoveel mensen hier aanwezig zijn om de renners te zien. Ja. Dat wil zeggen dat ze van de wielersport houden. Yeah. En dat is een goede. 
Yeah, so let me quickly translate that. He, of course, is not anymore a part of the riders, but it really touches him how many people are so enthusiastic about cycling. So the next question I was wondering, um, when you won the Vuelta, the year later you won the Tour de France, can you say that uh, the one has influenced the other win? Can you say that the Vuelta has to do with the winner of the Tour de France later, or is that a lot of fun? Dat staat lastig met mij. Wat ik wel moet aangeven is mijn tweede plaats in 1966 uh, gaf mij toch de gedachte als ik tweede kan worden in een Tour de France, dan kan ik ook winnen. Daartussen kwam natuurlijk de Ronde van Spanje, is toch iets anders als een Tour de France, maar een geweldige wedstrijd. En ik, was, ik ben zeer vereerd dat ik twee grote rondes op mijn naam had schrijven. En de Vuelta en de Tour de France. Zeker. Ja. Quickly translate. So the both big rounds don't have much to do with each other. But he is very honored and still grateful that he was able to win two grand tours in his life. So last question, you were the first Vuelta winner from the Netherlands. Uh, Job Sutemaak was the second one, and after that we had no uh, Vuelta winners anymore. Who do you think maybe has a chance to win the Vuelta? So, ik nog in het Nederlands, of heeft u het meegekregen? Wie uh, zou er um, de Nederlandse volgende Vuelta winnen kunnen worden? Een derde winner, een derde winnaar. Ik denk dat we nog even moeten wachten. Maar dat die komt, dat is zeker. Hoe weet je dat? We hebben geweldig talent hebben we rondrijden. Jonge mannen van uh, 20, 21 jaar. En uh, ik heb uh, goede hoop dat ze de, de Vuelta zeker een keer gaan winnen. Oké. Okay. So maybe not this year, misschien niet dit jaar. We have to be a little bit more patient, Mr. Janssen said, but he will come, definitely. Mr. Janssen, thank you very much. Heel erg bedankt voor uw tijd. Enjoy the couple of days and tonight, of course. Thank you very much. 82 years of age now, Jan Janssen. Uh, former world champion, Jan winner of the Vuelta and the Tour de France. Paris-Roubaix and uh, way too many other victories for so me to list. What a legend of our team. sport. Shall we continue? Yes, yes, please. We are going to continue, ladies and gentlemen, here in Utrecht. Give it up for Euskatel Euskadi! Probably the greatest breakaway artist of all in the Welter. The they boys in orange, Euskatel Euskadi. Watch out for them when we go to the Basque Country, of course, as we do when we return to Spain from the Netherlands. Like last year, Euskatel Euskadi has received the wild card for La Vuelta. The Spanish Basque team has a long-standing history in cycling and returned to the pro team level in 2020 after departing in 2013. Well-known veteran cyclists of the team include Mikel Landa and Jonathan Gastro Viejo. The team will certainly want to be seen during this year's Vuelta. Extra support for the Orange Army, Euskatel Euskadi! Mikel Bizcara in the middle there. This is a great team from the Basque Country. Probably their, their best there climber. After Monday, when the whole circus goes over from Holland to the Spain mainland. Please welcome, so from Spain, winner of the stage in San Luis, Luis Angel Mate. And please welcome, Cotson Martin. Mate, very experienced. This will be his 10th world The stage winner in the Vuelta is Mikel Ituria. Always on the attack is Carlos Canal. They're all always on the attack, aren't they? One of the GC riders is Juan Bau. Ibai Azurmendi. Please welcome Javier Miguel Asparen. One happy guy there. And he's a climber and a GC rider, Miguel Biscara. He's the guy to watch to on the longer climbs in particular. This car is best placing 17th on GC back in 2018. They love your support. They love your applause, ladies and gentlemen. What we have, we have to go on because we're live. Introduction of the next team is Israel Premier Tech. We will see plenty of the boys in orange. Don't worry about that. 
Israel Premier Tech up next, Moving the on. Israeli team. This Israeli team consists of 17 different nationalities and will bring seven nationalities to this year's Vuelta. One of them, of course, is a Briton, Chris Froome. Double winner of this he race, of course. Spain twice and was victorious in five stages. The team also had a successful Tour de France with stage wins by Hugo Hull and Simon Clark. Will they be able to maintain this upward line during this Vuelta? Two Israeli riders in here too, which is good to see at Grand Tour level. Israel Premier Tech, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome twice the winner of the Tour Down Under from South Africa, Daryl Limpy. And he's a former top 10 GC rider from Norway, Carl Frederick Hagen. Hagen in great form from the recent Multiple Arctic race Israeli of Norway. Champion, Omar Goldstein. Ladies and gentlemen, four time winner of the Tour de France. One time winner of the Giro d'Italia, twice the Vuelta champion. This is Chris Froome. Getting, getting back to the Chris Froome of old. Let's see what happens over the next three weeks. Moving on from Israel, great sprinter Itamar Ainon. Former stage winner in the Vuelta, Alessandro De Marchi. Three time stage winner De Marchi, the winner Italian. Of the Tour of Turkey from New Zealand, Patrick Bevan. Why is the stage winner in La Vuelta always good on the attack? He loves his race from Canada, Michael Woods. Seventh on GC as well. Just a quick question for you, if that's okay, uh, Chris. Because first of all, we are honored that you're here um, as a big champion with us. We saw such great form in, La Vuelta, in the Tour de France this year. What about your form and your ambition in this year's Vuelta? Yeah, let's see. Um, <laughs> I um, unfortunately, yeah, had uh, had COVID at the tour, so uh, had to recover from that. But uh, very much looking forward to the Vuelta. It's one of my favorite races. So really happy to be here and uh, looking forward to the next few weeks. What about the memories from Utrecht? Yeah, yeah. He's got some good memories of Utrecht, maybe, right? Yeah, yeah. Definitely got some special memories from from uh, the, the, the Grand Depart when we were here. Uh, when was it? 2015 in Utrecht. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for the memories. We saw glimpses in the Tour de France of Chris Froome getting back. And you're going to hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, once more for Chris Froome. That little bit closer to the Chris Froome we've known. Thank you so much, guys. Israel Premier Tech. Good luck. And as they're leaving the stage, ladies and gentlemen, we go on to UAE Team Everest. <laughs> By the way, just finishing off the Israel Premier Tech, I'd be very surprised to see Mike Woods too far away from a potential stave win, that's for sure. Had a good year this year, the 35-year-old Canadian. ...for success in the sprints at this year in Vuelta, as well as success in the mountains and the time trials. UAE Team Emirates. ...one of the fastest men in the peloton, and with Jao Almeida, they have a cyclist who knows what it's like to ride a good classification in a major tour. Almeida is among others supported by the youngest rider of La Vuelta, 19-year-old Juan Ayuso. Ayuso getting his first pro win just less than two weeks ago in the circuit of Jechko. Let's start to welcome with Jan Polanc from Slovenia. Juan Sebastian Molano from Colombia. Brandon McNulty from the United States. Making his debut McNulty, what will he go on to Juan achieve? Almeida. And a huge Spanish talent from Spain, Juan Ayuso. Ayuso and Almeida, and from Portugal, both big Pico hitters, Vassiera. no doubt. And please welcome the sprinter from Germany, Pascal Ackermann. And last but not least, Spanish former Paris Nice winner, Marc Soler. Rammed with talent, that team. Yes, Absolutely and, uh, rammed. Juan Ayuso is, uh, can I give you the microphone, is one of the, the big, big, big talents in Spain. And they've got a lot of talent. So you'll see that as well in this uh, Vuelta. What, in English or in, in, in Espanol? English is fine. In English is fine. I, I can hear already. I mean, what can we expect from you in, uh, in this Vuelta? Because everyone expects a lot from you. You're very young, but so talented. What is, uh, what is it with you in this Vuelta, do you think? And how do you handle that pressure? No, I think for me it's it's a dream come true. You know, it's the home race of, of my home country, and yeah, it's just uh, it's finally a dream that's coming true. So I'm just looking forward to to enjoying these three weeks uh, to improve and just to, to help the team what I can. Yeah, you were really good 
in the circuito de Get Show. Uh, just recently you won it. I mean, do you still have that form? Is that a nice preparation for La Vuelta? I hope so. No, I hope so. I still have those legs. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to, to, to get it started tomorrow and, and just, just start racing. How come you have such a good accent, uh, Juan? It's because I lived four, five years in the States, so something sticks. <laughs> Almost American, Juan Ayuso! And I hope there's not too much pressure on him. Good luck, guys. But let's see what Juan Ayuso does. I was commentating for the circuit Getchko just a couple of weeks ago, and he was very impressive. Next up, Bahrain victorious. Mikel Lander, of course. What a three-pronged attack. While Paul's Gino Maida, Mikel Lander. Ready for Team Bahrain victorious, ladies and gentlemen. He was uh, fourth in the Tour of Hungary from Italy, Eduardo Zambanini. And what about to say he was second after Mark Pearson in this tour, ready for revenge, Fred Rice. What a great Tour de France for the Black South Londoner. From Germany, Yasha Sutterlin. Four times Tour de France stage winner, two times San Sebastian, Luis Leon Sanchez. 38 years of age now in his 13th Vuelta. He's the winner, former winner of Liege, Baston Liege, and he just became a father of Casper Henk, a son, our father, Van Pools. Great reception for him. He's been sick on GC. In the World Cup before, of course, what pools? Yeah, emotional moments. From Switzerland, former Giro stage winner Gino Meder. Best young Best rider Gino last year, well. too. From Colombia, Santiago Buitrago. A lot of people watching Buitrago to and see what the Colombian can achieve. This year's Giro d'Italia, one of Spain's big hopes. Damn, he's so good. Give it up for Mikel Landa. He's won a stage previously, but his best here, 25th on GC. Which Mikel Landa are we going to see come the Sierra Nevada in two weeks' time? Are we going on? Oh, we're going on, ladies and gentlemen. That's good, that's good, that's good. There's a Bahrain Victorian cyclist. Leave the stage. We move on to the next team. EF Education Easy Pose. Now the American team. As is often their way, the last to announce their riders, I think, by the looks of it. And the bucket hats are out in effect. Both, both <laughs> Wonderful. Four editions of Love Welta, this team managed to win a stage. Will they be able to add another victory to their list of wins in this year's Tour of Spain? What a lot of previous form they have in this race. Yes, there they are. Please give it up from the Netherlands. Julius from the Bear. And from Great Britain, James Shaw. Making his debut, James from Shaw. Ukraine, Mark Padun. The Ukrainian. And from Eritrea, Meravi Grevenian. From Colombia, Esteban Chavez. Being third, of course, from double Great stage Britain, winner in the Vuelta. Double stage winner, Hugh Carty. Third in 2020, Caicedo. And give it up from Colombia, Rigoberto Uran. Seriously, multinational team that one, isn't it? Uran seventh on the general Thank classification you, EF, in the past. Good luck. Colombians, Ukrainians, Ecuadorians, two Brits. And a free. What's that? Oh, Gilet. Bucket hat. Almost, almost, Bucket almost. hat from James Shaw. Ready for the party. Let's give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Put out your clapstick and put the blue side up, ladies and gentlemen. Put the blue side up because here they are. Team Ineos Grenadier. The British team. Sivakov in such good form. Michael Kwiatkowski's victory in the Amstel Gold Race, they've shown that they are much more than only a team aiming for a general classification. Mm, what focus for Richard Carapaz, the Ecuadorian. And they are here, the first climb of this Vuelta here on the Vredeburgplein in Utrecht. Once more your applause for Ineos Grenadiers. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Richard. He was superb in the Spring Classics this year from Great Britain, Ben Turner. 
What a breakthrough year for Ben Turner. In Burgos already, Pavel Sivako. And he's our Spanish champion. He won it this year at Mallorca. Carlos Rodriguez. Spanish super talent, the Australian youngster. Champion now, then Lucas Black. Or the winner of the Tour of Poland, this is Ethan Hater. Also a debutant. Hater. The former winner of the Giro d'Italia. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dale Kagan Hart. And he's the vice world champion, and he is the winner of Paris Roubaix. And I know you're going to applaud really loud for Dylan von Ballet. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Look for him, maybe, in the attack. On stages two and three, he'll look, no doubt be a key player in tomorrow's team time trial too for these guys. And we're almost running out of time, but we're still having it for the Giro d'Italia winner and the Olympic champion. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Richard Carnapa! Olympic road race champion. The gold band on his sleeve illustrating that, of course, Carapaz... Sí, la verdad que muy emocionado con tantos fans. Gracias y disfruten de la vuelta. He loves it. Wishing you all a very great vuelta, and he's with short words today. Thank you so much. And uh, next to you we have Carlos Rodríguez, who is a big, big champion. Carlos, uh, es un maravilloso uh, comienza aquí, ¿no? A wonderful yes. start. Yes, with so many fans, uh, so happy, all cheering. It's going to be a great start of La Vuelta here. ¿Te apetece el, La Vuelta, no? Sí. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Good. National uh, road race champion Diana, at the age of 21, Dylan. Rodriguez. Dylan, it's home soil for you. I saw you saying on Instagram, uh, I, know this, I know this ways. Do you think this is an advantage? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, it's pretty exciting to start in Holland. Um, especially new track. I was here as well uh, when the tour started, so I have some nice memories. So uh, let's uh, let's rock and roll tomorrow. Good luck with that. Thank you very much. Mm, might not Your just be the team time Indian trial Grenadiers. where we see him uh, yeah, that is play his and trade. Let's see. On, he gets opportunities. Up. That is. You have to shift here because we're going to introduce the next team. Let's give it up for Bora Hans Grohe. They've got quick step alpha vinyl. Lulu in the boat. Clap your hands, Utrecht! Clap, clap! Bora Hansgrohe next, the German the team in green. Oscar will kick off La Vuelta with great confidence. With Jai Hindley's final victory in the Giro and Alexander Vlasov's fifth place in the Tour, this team is clearly showing its worth. What can Sam and Bennett achieve in those sprint stages too? Denny from Popo, the team has two top Dutch cyclists at the start. Here is Bora Hansgrohe! Yes, there they are! So let's give it up. Born in Utrecht for Danny van Poppel. Key lead out man, but great sprinter in his own right. And from Ireland, Ryan Mullen. Also an integral part from of Sam Germany, Bennett's train. Jonas Koch. As is Jonas Koch as and well. Please give it up for one of the best Dutch GC riders we have. Wilco Kelderman. Fourth in 2017 at the World Cup, Kelderman. A good year as well this year. Kim Moore, his old self. Nice one, nice one. Also, a big applause. Please give it up for the Giro winner, Jai Hindley. Very relaxed in the run-up to this race, Hindley. And from Colombia, Sergio Higuita. Higuita, from very Italy, dangerous potential Mateo stage Pablo. winner. And please give it up for the sprinter from Ireland who won stages in all the Grand Tours, Sam Bennett. He's won three Vuelta stages, still getting back so to his best. Is this the week it happens again? This Saturday you will uh, drive through your birth city or where you have lived for very long, Amersfoort. You don't live there anymore, but will there still be people for you uh, cheering for you there? Yeah, for sure. Family and friends are there, but uh, it's great to, to start a uh, Grand Tour yeah, close to your home, where I came from. and. Yeah, I look really forward to, to start here. Sure. Yeah? How are you feeling? How are you feeling and how are, do you think your chances are? Uh, yeah, the feeling is really good. I had a really good preparation and uh, I think we have also a strong team. So I really look forward, yeah. I think so too. Good luck.
Good luck, boys, from Bora Hansko. Give it up. Kjeldeman also looked good in the Spanish races in the lead-up to this at so, Gejko and to go, San Sebastian to too. To Next up, a very big team with a legend, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for Movistar! The oldest team in the top level of world cycle sport, Movistar. Put your hands up in the air, put your hands up. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Put of course, they go all the way back to the Bonesto and Reynolds days. What a history. More importantly, Alejandro Valverde's final Vuelta, if we believe him. This Vuelta will be historic regardless of the results because it will be his last great tour. Alejandro yeah. Valverde. Well, we say that. What if he wins it? From Las Lumbreras. Will he be able to shine one last time during his home tour? <laughs> no pressure. For Team Movistar. A slightly changed kit. The white with the light blue. It's very smart. Carlos Verona. Twice the national champion of Spain, Jose Jorge Rojas. A former Vuelta stage winner from Portugal, Nelson Oliveira. Winner of, for instance, Runtum Köln. This is from Austria, Gregor Mühlberger. Twice second in the GC. He's looking for the number one place. Please welcome Enric Mas. He's been a stage winner as well, but twice second is illustrative of his qualities. Turkey from Spain, Luis Mas. The Danish time trial champion, Matthias Jorgensen. Should be a big player in uh, working for that team. Five time flesh wallon. He's a former world champion, the winner of La Vuelta in 2009. 16th participation in La Vuelta. This is the last one, so give it up for the one and only Alejandro Valverde! 42 years of age and still so sharp. He'll have a part to play in this final Vuelta for him, no doubt. Twelve times a stage winner. Qué maravilloso, ¿no? Estás seguro que esta es la última vuelta para ti, seguro? Sí, sí. Bueno, muchísimas gracias a todos. Es un placer estar aquí. Y sí, es última vuelta ya y espero disfrutarla al cien por cien. ¿Y con quién, con quién ambición empiezas aquí en esa vuelta? Bueno, yo creo que tenemos un, un gran equipo detrás y con Enric podemos hacer una gran vuelta. Y bueno, eh, que nos acompañe la salud, las caídas y hacerlo lo mejor posible. ¿Y probar ganar etapas para ti también? Bueno, eh, si viene alguna etapa, pues intentaremos estar ahí lo más delante posible y si podemos ganar, pues mucho mejor. Ok, so he's here with a great team working for Enric Mas, of course, in the GC. But if he has a chance, he will go for it as well for a stage win and that will be something to say goodbye. So Utrecht, say goodbye or hello to Alejandro Valverde! Working for Enric Mas, or Gracias, maybe going for himself. Done. I think we'll have to watch Let's that one. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, and now a big time, a big time. The Dutch DJ tune is coming in for the pride of the Dutch, ladies and gentlemen. Need I say more? Jumbo Visma! The Spanish press have coined them the clockwork bananas. The boys in yellow who rock up the same time every year and only go and win it. Primo Roglic is trying to go four in a row. It's never been done before. Roberto Heras has won four, but not in a row. season is a success already. The team has been successful in La Vuelta for many years now. The past three years, Primoz Roglic won the final classification in as many as nine stages. He knows what it is to wear the red jersey. But he's supported by cyclists who know what it means to win. Take, for example, Mike Tönesen, who rode in the yellow jersey for two days. What a team time draw, team two. It should be a safe day tomorrow for Primoz Roglic. I would yes. say yell for the team Jumbo Visma. There they are. Let's introduce them properly. Let's start from the Netherlands. Former Tour de France stage winner Mike Dönesen. Integral part of that team. Also from the Netherlands, from Tilburg, on to zijn, Sam Oma. 
And from the United States, Seth Kuss. Roglic, his right-hand man in the mountains. From Australia, Chris Harper. And then the Dutch routinier who's seen it all, Robert Geesink. Riding his ninth Vuelta, Geesink. And give it up for the former time trial world champion, Roland Dennis. In sparkling form, the new Commonwealth champion too. Italy, Eduardo Affini. Another key, big, world-class time trialist. for three times Vuelta winner, Primoz Roglic. Can he go four in a row? Only... He will know, that's a bad rhyme, but we'll see, won't we? Heras has won four, but nobody's won four in a row. Can the clockwork bananas do just that? So, Primoz, you've won, uh, like I said, the jersey three times. If it will be four times, it will be a record. What do you think? What are the chances? I mean, uh, we are uh, here as a strong team. Uh, we are doing our best, uh, and uh, yeah, we see uh, at the end what that means. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're actually really good at the Vuelta. Why is the Vuelta so good for you? What do you like about it? <laughs> Just the fact that we always have fun here. On, uh, oh, that's uh, a wonderful, uh, a wonderful response. Good, so uh, yeah, uh, let it be like that. Uh, we enjoy it. Is that the secret? Fun? I guess so. Good luck. Is fun. Good luck, guys. Thank you very much. Team Jumbo Visma! Ah, Roglic seemingly calm as he so often is this time of year. It once again did not work out for him at the Tour de France this summer. Having to withdraw on stage, what was it, stage 15 into Carcassonne. Watching his teammate go on to win, of course. What are the chances of the clockwork bananas coming up trumps again, With four in a row? We almost come to an end of the formal presentation, but we have an after party and after party and after party, of course, on this stage as well. But I'd like to introduce you uh, to the director of uh, La Vuelta 2022. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, of Utrecht, Mr. Javier Guillen. He's the race director. Fernando Escartini is the route designer. These men have put together Bienvenido. a fantastic Hello, 77th edition. So first of all, this is a true Dutch fiesta uh, on uh, the Vredeburg Plain. How, how do you feel about this start? I feel so, so, so great. You know, I was thinking that, uh, I don't know, five years preparing this big star. Now we can say, here we are. We got it. Thank you very much. Because all this is because of you. Thank you, Utrecht. Thank you, Reda. Thank you, Denbos. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. Of course, it's about sports, but it is also for La Vuelta, for much and many more things. For instance, sustainability. Uh, what about sustainability in La Vuelta? Sustainability is our main concern, one of them. You know, we represent the, the bike because uh, cycling is uh, on bike. Bike is the tool that we are going to use to transfer our cities. Utrecht, Netherlands is the best example that we need to follow. That's why we are here, just to show everybody how the future must be built. It's so great, you know, to be ambassador of all of your culture. Thank you very much. And maybe one more thing, uh, uh, Mr. Guian, uh, about your uh, involvement in society. I mean. Uh, 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 what is that about? Because it's about more than just cycling, right, for you? Yes, we every day reach many, many homes, many people, so we are a communication platform, so we got the ability to send a lot of methods. We are a commitment race, so we also want to send social methods. That's why, year by year, Vuelta is trying to work with a special project. This year, we're working with a foundation is the vote to get uh, funds to invest for a uh, search of uh, cancer for children, something that we really need here, but yet we do something. So thank you, the Foundation, the Sueño de Vicky, for the for it's doing in this year with Vuelta. Thank you so much. Which is a great and charity. Just, just one thing, just one thing, just one thing. Yeah. In a perfect Spanish, Sharon sent something to you. In a very poor Dutch, let me tell you, Something to all of you. Danke bel, Utrecht. Danke bel, Holland. 
Van Zelden Van Zell. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Set the three great days of racing the in the of Netherlands. And only public, the organization organizes La Vuelta. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost finishing it up, the official presentation with the parties coming up, but we have a still a party going on because we need to present our new anthem of this year's La Vuelta song, which is released now by Lorena Medina, who you've obviously already seen. Because every year there's tradition that how can you combine the artists with the regions you're living in? So uh, we go to Utrecht, we go to Brabant, and we go to Spain. So we combined, we combined Latin sounds with well-known Dutch DJs. So if you feel like dancing, Utrecht, please do so. Wave your hands in the air, please do so. Because we are getting ready for, and there she is, Lorena Medina, Sophie Francis, and the inner kiss, ladies and gentlemen, with, come on, come on! <laughs> Utrecht has hosted the Tour de France, the Giro d'Italia. Has it saved the best for last with the Vuelta? That's right. Thank you so much. Well, the party's already started. The 77th edition of the Vuelta Ciclista España kicks off tomorrow with the 23.3 kilometer team time trial right here in Utrecht. Anthem of this year's Love Vuelta, which wraps up 
the official presentation, but the party keeps on going, right? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. It's almost sad that we have to stop, but we don't have to stop. And so you can keep partying here, but we want to thank, uh, first of all, the riders for coming here. We want to thank the Vuelta uh, organization, but of course we want to thank you. Your energy was amazing. You really gave me give goosebumps. Thanks a lot for coming. So enjoy the next three weeks of cycling, and like Sandra said, Keep here because the party still goes on here. Yes, because we have the recipe on stage for the next hour again. And of course, for tomorrow night, we have that great team time trial at the Jaguars. We have on Saturday, Den Bos Utrecht, and on Sunday, Breda Breda. It's going to be a great, magnificent weekend. Thank you so much for coming, Utrecht, to the Vredeberg Play tonight. Keep on partying, La Fiesta Hollanda. It keeps on going all night long. Thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you, Bell. Stay with us at the home of cycling over the next three weeks. All of Shenoui, Adam Blythe and Dan Lloyd ready for you on the couch for the live shows. And they will be joined by Carlton Kirby, Sean Kelly and Robbie McEwen to bring you all the racing every single day. Don't go anywhere. Eurosport GCN is your home of the Vuelta this autumn. It all kicks off 5.15 UK time.